Actually, we're having gone into my journey and as, an, as a businessman, having made excuses for the first 10 years because I was not mature enough to seek excellence, we then launched this brand of clothing in India called Indian Terrain. But this time, we were, we were mature. We knew what we had to do, so we put, we seeded the DNA of the brand Indian Terrain with the excellence that we wanted it to have. Obviously, there were elements of the business we were strangers to, we had to work on it, and we are still working on it. But there were some elements of the business we were already very good at. We knew how to make clothing, we knew how to design clothing. What we didn't know was how to retail it, how to distribute it, and how to build a brand. Mr. Srinivasan alluded to it. From being an organization um, uh, driven, uh, you know, which has its energies around an organization, to moving the energies at, behind a brand is a massive transition. Many of you who work for FMCGs or understand brand building, you will realize that it is, it's, an, it's a long haul. But this time, but on this journey, it's been for seven years now, I can see the green shoots of excellence. I can see it. I can feel it. I can feel the fragrance, the perfume of excellence. That's what it's all about. You've got to feel an upliftment. That's what will tell you that you're excellent. Yes, of course, your customers and the host of features which Mr. Raman spoke about are the mental metrics, the metrics by which you measure it. But to me, if you can smell it, if you can feel it, if it puts a, puts a you know, uh, uh, if you, uh, what do you call it, a bounce to your step in the way you do your work, then you're approaching the zone of excellence. So Indian terrain as a brand of clothing, many of you may have encountered it, some of you may not have. But I feel confident enough to stand before an audience in Chennai and talk about a Chennai-based brand. And that's the only reason, I, if I was not sure that it was seeing excellence somewhere, I would have been very hesitant to bring it up because feedback to a brand is very quick. And I didn't, wouldn't want to stand and answer questions here about why the seams ripped or why you know, the color ran or the number of other questions which I get asked about by friends who uh, by use and wear the product. So that is what happens when the organization matures. So the first 10, 11 years, we were learning. We understood the mistakes we were making. We were not prepared for some of the pain. But then we went into our, the next leg of our journey. We are, we are surely and certainly, we know what we need to do and we know what we have to do to get there. This, is a, this is, has been a very, very interesting part. Now, I must, I touch upon one aspect. Why is it that our quest for excellence since the launch of the brand seems to be a lot easier in maturing? It's because the way your organization or you as an individual see you when you begin your journey. While it is going to be difficult, while it is going to be difficult, and please hear this very carefully. The way you conduct yourself in the early stages of your journey, the manner in which your leadership is seen, are you an individual who, who supports merit in, in, in what you see around you? Are you generous in your praise and recognition of merit or excellence where you see it? Are you intolerant of intrigue? Your organization, you're not typical. Most of us belong to companies, we're intrigued. Politics, are you intolerant of it? Do you stand for the, what you think are visibly the right way to do business? The right way to lead an organization, the right way. At least do you stand for it? Because if you do, believe me, those are the factors which seep into the foundation of the business or the organization or the team you're leading. It seeps unbeknownst to you, it seeps in. And it rests there. It stays there as pods. And then at a time when you reach maturity and you call your team together and say, listen, we've been doing this for a while, but we are not getting to where we want to go. So let's put some specific goals, be it to do with the customer, efficiency, manufacturing, uh, customer service, all the metrics which Mr. Raman talked about, when you go and outline it to those people, it is the fact that you have put these pods in place that, that blossoms at that time, that matures and becomes the underpinning of your journey. So leadership from the word go is so important to establishing a culture of excellence across your organization. Whenever 
you choose to make it your goal finally point don't get distracted most of us who move on in whatever we do a sportsman a businessman a team leader we tend to get distracted too quickly small successes distract us from what we have to do new business opportunities come up you're in the clothing business someone tells me that you know mr rajgopal real estate is doing really well so why don't you put some of your money in in real estate and i say yeah that's a quick way to make money so i get distracted put some of my money there and someone tells me that why don't you start selling shoes after all indian terrain is a brand of clothing why don't you start selling shoes too I say, yeah that's great i don't know anything about shoes i don't have anyone who can manage that new business i don't have a ba bandwidth to manage my distractions what i end up doing is i very often chase an opportunity which seems lustrous which seems great from in the short term or in the or from close up but tends to be hugely dangerous to the large scale uh, to the long term improvement of your organization or yourself distractions happen every day anyone who is an entrepreneur or a team leader will will agree with me that distraction is a way in which you run your life it it is the it is pretty much the rule but it's a thread of excellence whose absence you need to ensure like some of the threads which you have to ensure are present control of distraction is supremely important if you want to get where you want to go in the search for excellence above all and to sum up what i'm telling you the one singular thread is the thread of leadership it falls upon you there is no escaping that you have to demonstrate by the way in which you run your organization that you are capable of staying the course that you have it in you to bear the pain and you have to diffuse the pain you know young team members people who believe in you you've got to shelter them through the pain you've got to show them the way forward if you and organizational excellence is even more difficult because you have to get a number of people to to be equally passionate about what you think is your goal of excellence leadership above all is the single most important thread if you want to acquire excellence either as an organization or as an individual leadership and what it takes is a subject by itself I, i'm a great student of leadership uh, i have believed that it affects in so many ways the organization functions excellence of course being the most desired goal but as a th as threads go it is the single most distinct thread you need to wave weave into the tapestry of excellence that you choose so i am going to wind my speech here this morning having touched upon some of the elements which i have lost sight of where you know i didn't take the pain at some times i got distracted a few times i didn't understand how long and how persistently i needed to stay on this goal of excellence i have seen the show of hands at how many of you feel the way i do i do believe that if you just use the mistakes i've made the the the, the ways in which i've lost my way and just chart your course set your sail in such a manner as to avoid the same issues same problems i'm absolutely sure that your movement your quest for excellence is going to be that much more certain that much more quicker and that much more surer i'm going to leave you with a line from a poem i read very interesting one stays as a guiding light in my journey it's by uh, lord tennyson he wrote the poem ulysses and the last sentence of his of his poem is is this it says to seek to strive to find never to yield i repeat to seek to strive to find never to yield ladies and gentlemen that perhaps is what keeps me on my journey uh, when i do reach that zone of excellence i will tell my mr subramaniam that now i want to come back and tell them as to how i have arrived but at this point of time it's a work in progress i will stay there um i my my organization knows that however long it takes uh, this man is going to stay in the quest for it i thank you all for your very patient hearing this morning you have a very heavy session coming up uh, i hope i've managed to engage your hearts a little more because you're going to have to engage your minds a lot coming through the session today 
I thank you all very much. Thank you, Mr. Subramaniam. I must say that you all have been an excellent audience this morning. Thank you.